I swear y'all are future engineers or current engineers. Yeah, I think the same too. Why you dumb, yeah you. This is what happens when a game gives you tools instead of rules. Build a boat for a treasure. A Roblox game where you build a boat and go get some treasure. Simple, right? Well, not exactly. What started as a boat game turned into something else, something bigger. This simple sandbox game became a place for creativity, for problem solving, for engineering. When it launched, Build the Boat was just about getting to the end. Get some blocks together, survive the obstacles, grab your gold, then make spinning machines, then get gold again. But players didn't stop there. We turned this boat game into something else. Now we've got suspension systems, robot walkers, multi-stage rockets. You don't just build a boat anymore. You build contraptions, you build ideas. Players have created massive rockets, functional gear trains, nuclear bombs, kidnapping machines. Mama, I'm a criminal. Mama, I'm a criminal. And even massive titans. Just, just look at that monstrosity. These aren't just sail builds, they're mechanical marvels built from countless times of trial, error, and pure creativity. And you know what the dev did? Shoulder 709, the game's creator, leaned into it. Updates started adding blocks that clearly had nothing to do with boats. Wheels, magnets, thrusters, a car seat, a pilot seat, a goddamn jet engine. These aren't even boat parts. It's like Shoulder saw what we were doing and said, Yeah, sure, go build some crazy. Car wheels, they're not just decoration, they're your motors, that's how you get cars, tanks, and even walkers moving. Servos, well, they're servos. They rotate at controlled angles just like actual servo motors used in robotics. That's how you get articulated joints, mech limbs, and mechanical arms. Pistons, yeah, they're also just pistons. Linear motion, you want to extend something, create a telescoping system, use them. And just Basic rotational joints, it's essential for anything with legs or moving parts. Delay blocks, you can chain them to create sequences, signals, full on circuits, or just music. When I was grinding this game, it taught me more about mechanics than my school classes. I've learned more about torque, balance, and propulsion, all through trial and error in a boat game. You learn how to stop your rocket from tipping over. You figure out how to make your car drive straight. That's center of mass, and it's physics 101. Have you ever built a rotating arm that flop around, or a wheel that was too weak to move your boat? Yeah, that was you running into torque problems. You fixed it by adjusting leverage, weight, and motor strength. Propulsion? Jets, thrusters, you didn't just put them on your build, you experimented. You figured out how much force you needed, how to angle them, and how to keep control while flying. That's propulsion design. It's exactly what people learn into intro engineering classes, just without the boring math. And it's not just me. There are thousands of players learning the same way by building, testing, failing, and trying again. These players are picking up the fundamentals of engineering without even knowing it. In a way, this game lowers the barrier to entry. You don't need a degree or a textbook. You just need curiosity. Build a boat gives you the tools and says, go make something crazy. Some of these players might not just be messing around. They might be discovering what they love doing and that's really great. And while I was looking for crazy builds, I came across a YouTuber named Redis Red. And what he made is just amazing. I built the first working computer in Build a Boat for Treasure. I made Doom on Roblox Build a Boat for Treasure. You heard it right, Doom in a boat game. Just look at his build, it's not bad for a boat game. And here's another guy, Glad Note 2022 on Reddit. He likes making computers too. Look at his Reddit post. 
The contraption features an input, memory, and an output. It operates in this chronology and the main innovation is the input method, which doesn't rely on individual clicks anymore, or at least a lot of them. It instead uses delay blocks which when colored a very specific color, blocks an electric signal. It's so detailed, Jesus Christ. Why did I build this? I thought about it for saving drawings electrically but sooner realized I could also use it as easier input mean for a bigger project, which some of you may already have a clue of an army capable of recognizing numbers. He made an AI. No, I don't wanna go! No! No! No, I don't wanna go! It's just one of the many insane creations possible in this game. And you know what this reminds me of? And you're probably also thinking about it. Minecraft Redstone. Three years ago, Redstone and suddenly they're building calculators, elevators, and entire CPUs. And just like Bab FT, Minecraft Redstone wasn't meant for building computers, but players are making one, and that's the magic. It's not a lesson on the surface, but when you're deep in the build, trying to make your elevator work or your machine fly straight, you're thinking like an engineer. The community pushed this game forward, sharing builds, techniques, and tutorials. Build a boat became more than a game. It became a culture of invention. Or just a really good engineering sandbox game. I quit build a boat. I just don't like that game well. The developers suck, he missed our Christmas Upa day, and he just don't give a f about his game. Upadis are becoming less and less than 2022. In that Upa day, I was actually happy, but now the game turned into a cash grab. Game pacers got more expensive, and it's so not worth to buy servers anymore. I found better games to make models like Blender, Bloxburg, or something. That's why I'm quitting. If you're reading this, thanks for your patience, anyways, see why- I get the frustration. Updates have slowed down, but looking at his post, it's super clear he built up some modeling skills just from messing around in Pull the Boat. He might be quitting by FT, but he's probably on the path to doing something way bigger. But if he leans into that interest, he could jump into CAD modeling and 3D printing, and that's engineering. It's easy to overlook Bully Boat as just another Roblox game, but for some of us, it's where the spark of engineering began. We weren't just building boats, we were building features, ideas, and a whole lot of wacky contraptions. The players of Bully Boat today might be designing real rockets tomorrow. And hey, if you made something wild in Bully Boat, drop it in the comments. I wanna see what you've engineered. And if you have friends that might be future engineers because of Build the Boat, maybe share this video to them. So yeah, Build the Boat makes engineers, and honestly, it's not bad for a boat game.